measurements, and measuring instruments. In this presentation, we are going to learn how to take measurements in an experiment, draw graphs, and perform error analysis from the experiment. While using a ruler to measure the length of an object, for example, this aluminum bar, always remember that in the lab, we use the metric system. Make sure to use the centimeter side, not the inches side. Also, you should start the ruler at the zero line, which may not always be at the end of the ruler. Finally, while recording the result of your measurement, be as precise as possible. In this case, I would record the length of the bar as 4.72 centimeters. Why 4.72? You can see that the edge of the bar lies somewhere between 4.7 and 4.8. I estimated the actual edge would fall at 4.72 centimeters. Another person may record this as 4.71 or 4.73 centimeters. For this reason, the last digit of the reading two in this case, is uncertain. However, in order to properly measure something, performing the measurement just once is not sufficient. We should perform the same measurement several times and obtain the average, which will be our result for the measured length of the bar that we can use in subsequent calculations. A second and more accurate way to measure length is to use a vernier caliper. This is a vernier caliper. The top bar is the main scale, and the bottom movable bar is the vernier scale. The divisions in the main scale and the vernier scale are slightly different. For example, in this caliper, 10 divisions in the vernier equals 9 divisions in the main scale, which is 0.9 centimeter or 9 millimeter. In order to use this vernier caliper, first read the value of the main scale, which is just to the left and above the zero mark on the vernier scale. Values will be in millimeters. Then add the value on the vernier scale, which exactly coincides with the line, any line, on the main scale. Vernier scale values are in 0.1 millimeter, so the final reading is 48.5 millimeters or 4.85 centimeters. You can also use a vernier caliper to measure the diameter of a hole or the depth of an object. 